Hey everybody, Carl Schuff here from GreenSock, and today I want to talk to you about Draggable's auto scroll property. Inside this demo, I have a div that has its overflow property set to scroll. It's a very large div that contains a very large grid that is scrollable. I also have inside of there a draggable element. Now, suppose I want to take this draggable element and drag it down to the bottom of the grid. Well, it sort of gets stuck right here. To drag down, I'd have to drag the container's scroll bar to reveal more of that grid and then drag down. I still want to go further, but in order to do that, I have to drag the page's scroll bar to reveal more of that div. Dragging to the right, same thing. It just sort of gets stuck and I have to get involved with this very frustrating scroll bar game, okay? This should all happen automatically. Well, that's why we have auto scroll. Let me jump over to the source code and I'm just going to add this property here of auto scroll with the value of one, which refers to the normal scroll speed. I'm gonna save the demo. I'm going to refresh it over here. And now notice what happens when I get to the edge of this div. It automatically starts scrolling. When I get to the bottom of the page, notice that the page starts scrolling. I can go all the way down to the bottom and then I can scroll to the bottom of this container, okay? This all happens naturally and smoothly. Whenever we're scrolling, we have variable speed scrolling, which means that as I approach the edge, we can start scrolling very slowly, and as I get even closer, I can speed it up. So I actually have control over how fast it scrolls based on how close to the edge I actually am. The maximum speed is dictated by our auto scroll value. So if I just go back to our demo and set auto scroll to four, that means when we're going maximum speed, it's going to be four times faster than the normal speed. So to show that really quickly, I'm just gonna jump over here and you'll see things scroll super fast. It might be the type of thing you need to do for yourself and experiment. So again, even if I have a very short window here, auto scroll will automatically scroll the window and then the container that the div is in. Going back up to the top, we'll scroll the page, and this all works really, really smoothly. I don't have to wiggle my draggable near the edge to get it to scroll, nor do I have to get involved with using scroll bars at all. So in this next demo, I just want to do a quick head-to-head -head comparison with jQuery UI's draggable. We chose jQuery UI Draggable because obviously it's the most popular dragging utility out there and for good reasons. It's packed with great features, it's easy to use, it's well documented, and it's well supported. But in doing our research we found that jQuery UI Draggable and other draggable tools sort of suffered from the same auto scroll quirks. So real quickly, I have a demo set up here that's similar to the one we just saw, except that we've added jQuery UI's draggable. Now, we have a very tall div here with this grid that goes down to the bottom of the page. And you'll notice that if I take jQuery UI draggable and scroll down to the bottom, um, it will not scroll the page any further, nor will it scroll the grid that we're in, okay? However, if I scroll to the right, um, it does have auto scroll on that grid, but it will only scroll when I move my mouse. So I have to move, 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 and then sometimes I have to even wiggle a little bit, okay? So um, it's not as smooth as what we're proposing. And also, if I want to scroll the page down, the same thing happens. Um, it sort of happens in these little spurts, and it always responds to mouse move. So the point we just want to hammer in is that our auto scroll is going to scroll multiple containers regardless of where your div is nested. There's smooth, variable speed scrolling based on the position of the draggable element. So I can go very slow or very fast, but I don't have to just keep moving my mouse around to keep scrolling. I can just lock it right into place. And one more thing to note is that draggable is touch enabled out of the box. So it's just ready to go in all your mobile applications.